In this video, we will solve an application problem using a linear equation in one variable. We will also reference the problem solving strategy outlined here below, where step one is to read the problem. Jesse has $6.55 worth of quarters and nickels in his pocket. The number of nickels is five more than two times the number of quarters. How many nickels and how many quarters does Jesse have? The next step is to identify what we are looking for, and then step three, name what we are looking for, and choose a variable to represent that quantity. We are looking for the number of nickels and the number of quarters that Jesse has. And because the number of nickels is five more than two times the number of quarters, let's use the variable Q for the number of quarters. Because the number of nickels is five more than two times the number of quarters, and Q is the number of quarters, we can use the expression 2Q plus five to represent the number of nickels. Again, if Q is the number of quarters, 2Q plus five does represent five more than two times the number of quarters. From here, because we know the total value of all of the coins, is $6.55, we will use this table to help us determine an expression for the total value of the number of quarters and for the total value of the number of nickels. So looking at the row for quarters, the number of quarters is represented by the variable Q. The coin value of a quarter in dollars is $0.25, which means the total value of all the quarters is $0.25 times Q, or just 0.25Q. Now I do want to mention, if the coin value was in cents rather than dollars, the coin value for a quarter would be 25 cents, and therefore the total value in cents would be 25Q, not 0.25Q. And now for nickels, the number of nickels is represented by the expression 2Q plus five, the value of a nickel in dollars is 0.05, which means the total value of all the nickels is 0.05 times the quantity 2Q plus five. Again, if we were to use cents rather than dollars, the value of a nickel would be five cents, and the total value of all the nickels would be five times the quantity 2Q plus five, which again would avoid decimals. The total value of all the coins is $6.55, which we will record here. If we were using cents, $6.55 would be 655 cents. And now for step four, we wanna write an equation, which we can do from this last column here. The value of the quarters plus the value of the nickels must be $6.55. This gives us the equation 0.25Q plus 0.05 times the quantity 2Q plus five must equal 6.55. Let's solve this equation on the next slide. And again, I do wanna mention, if you were to use cents rather than dollars, the equivalent equation would be 25Q plus five times the quantity 2Q plus five equals 655. But our text uses the equation with decimals, so we'll go ahead and solve this equation here. The next step is to simplify both sides of the equation. We simplify the left side by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms, which means now we distribute 0.05. This gives us 0.25Q plus 0.05 times 2Q is 0.1Q plus 0.05 times five is 0.25. Combining like terms on the left, 0.25Q plus 0.1Q is 0.35Q. From here, we could clear the decimals from the equation by multiplying both sides by 100. Let's go ahead and solve the equation with the decimals. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. To isolate 0.35Q, we need to undo this addition 
by subtracting 0 0.25 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, this difference is 0. We have 0 0.35q equals on the right, 6.55 minus 0 0.25 is 6.3. The last step is to multiply or divide to isolate q and solve the equation for q. 0.35q means 0.35 times q. To undo the multiplication and solve for q, we divide both sides by 0.35. On the left, this quotient is 1. 1 times q is q. On the right, 6.3 divided by 0.35 is equal to 18. So now we know the number of quarters is 18. Before we determine the number of nickels and then answer the question, let's take the time and solve this equivalent equation where the units would have been cents rather than dollars. The steps would be the same. We clear the parentheses here by distributing. This gives us 25q plus 10q plus 25 equals 655. Combining like terms, 25q plus 10q is 35q. Next step, isolate 35q by subtracting 25. Again, it's the same steps that we took in this equation here, except this equation does not contain decimals. Simplifying this is zero, we have 35q equals 655 minus 25 is 630. Dividing both sides by 35. Simplifying, we do get q equals 18. So again, we now know the number of quarters is 18. Remember the number of nickels is 2q plus 5. So let's determine the number of nickels by substituting 18 for q. 2 times 18 is 36. 36 plus 5 is 41. So now we know there are 18 quarters and 31 nickels. But before we write the answer as a complete sentence, Let's verify our answer by substituting 18 for q and 41 for the quantity 2q plus 5 in this equation here to make sure it does make a true statement. Performing the substitution gives us 0 0.25 times 18 plus 0 0.05 times the quantity 2q plus 5 is 41 when q is 18. So times 41 equals 6.55. 0 0.25 times 18 is 4.5 plus 0 0.05 times 41 is 2.05. 4.5 plus 2.05 is 6.55. We do have a true statement verifying the solution is correct. As a complete sentence, Jesse has 18 quarters and 41 nickels. I hope you found this helpful.